For March 10th, we have Forgiveness involves handing over to God the responsibility for justice. The longer we hold on to it, the more it strangles us. This is one of those that I agree with halfway. Um, I do forgive and I do believe in forgiveness. Um, I don't think anyone should hold on to anger or hate an individual person. But um, I don't think God handles the justice. I think the laws that men have created for their own countries and uh, are, you know, for the sole purpose of providing justice. So I think, uh, I don't think God's involved in that in any way. Um, it says, Lord, at whatever point I judge another person, your word says that I am condemning myself, because those of us who pass judgment do the same things. This reminds me of, uh, you know, do unto others, you have them do unto you, a golden rule, um, which people say is actually older than the Bible. It's an, it's an older idea because, you know, it just makes sense, you know. Uh, now I know that your judgment against those who do such things is based on truth. So when I, a mere human, pass judgment on others and yet do the same things, do I think I will escape your judgment? Well, I actually do think I will escape God's judgment, but I don't think uh, if I kill someone I'm going to escape the judgment of the court systems and uh, the country I'm living in, and I think that's the bigger issue here. Is uh, We've created these laws because we you know, we all agree that, that the killing and murdering and no, which the same thing, but uh, is a bad thing. Um, the relevant passage is uh, Romans chapter 2, verse 1 through 2. Therefore thou art an inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest. Uh, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest does the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against those which committed such things. Uh, but verse 3 says, and, and thinkest thou this, O man, that judgest them which do such things, and dost the same thing, uh, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? And of course, again, yes, I do think you'll escape the judgment of God. I don't think God, that God exists. But um, it, certainly, uh, it, it's a good chance you'll be caught by the police, <laughs> and uh, you, you'll be held accountable to the judge, uh, the court systems. If I do not judge, I will not be judged. Actually, no. Uh, plenty of people judge other people, uh, even if they're really good people and they never judge anyone. I mean, people still come up and say that you're ugly or say that you're a bad person, even if you're a really good person. Uh, sometimes people have false perceptions of you. If I do not condemn, I will not be condemned. Well, actually, no, that's not true either. We've had people in Texas be killed uh, for crimes they did not commit, uh, and they were... Uh, they were found to be innocent afterwards. They were, you know, not guilty. It should not have been condemned. If I forgive, I will be forgiven. And that's also not true. There are plenty of evil people out there that will absolutely not forgive you for anything, even though you're the nicest person in the world. Uh, relevant passage to Luke chapter 6, verse 37. Let's try to get there in five seconds. Here's chapter 7, chapter 6, verse 37. Judge not, and you shall not be judged. Condemn not, and you shall not be uh, condemned. Forgive, and you shall be forgiven. Well, I think they, they think in the sense of God will forgive you, which is uh, great if you believe in God, but I don't, I don't think a God exists. So certainly someone who kills someone will, will get in trouble by the law, and uh, you would hope that people would forgive you for minor offenses and things that you've done. Um, you hope that they're, they're good people as well. Um, help me, Lord, to extend more grace, and I will continue to s receive more grace. And, uh, of course, that doesn't always happen, as I alluded to previously. But um, I like this devotional a lot better than some of the others. It makes a lot more sense.